So next is um, we will discuss depletion. This is the last depreciation method, or we also call it the service output method. Um, before we start, uh, the depletion part on your modules is pretty much the same with this. Okay, yun nga lang kasi yung depletion sa module ninyo ay ang um, pinaka focus is like what I mentioned last time is um, say natural resources, no more of uh, that. Uh, approach. Pero itong i... Okay. Sige lang sa... Pero pag may tanong ka, mag-chat ka lang. Pero ang i-discuss natin ngayon is um, based on uh, purchasing a property. Okay? Pero kapag ginamit mo naman tong formula nito na ituturo ko dun sa nasa, nasa module, you will get the same answer and vice versa. Yeah, hindi pala magagamit yung nasa module dito kasi yung nasa module, walang hindi consider yung salvage value. Okay? Pero pag ginamit mo to din doon sa mga nasa module, you will get the same answer. Ang kaparehas itong depletion na ituturo natin dito, yung service output method, is the first one, the first depletion option, no yung fix ang cost. Meron kasing pangalawang option ng depletion doon, which is the percent depletion, nakabase siya sa percentage. Iba din yung mga ginamit na ano na mga variables or ginamit na representation. Pero if iintindihin mo yung ibig sabihin ng representation, parang parehas lang. Okay? Ayun, book value doon kasi BVTS. Pero kapag pinag uh, relate mo sila sa utak mo, <laughs> parehas lang sila. Mm -mm. Sige, so, ginawa ko nung bago ko iginawa tong PowerPoint. Minake sure ko na, ah, okay, same lang. So, if you have extra time, try to do it. Pero, pwede nyo namang ito na lang iintindihin. Wala namang kaso. Those are just additional information. Now, kung gusto nyo talagang sulitin yung tuition, pwede. Okay, and if you have questions sa the module, hindi nyo makonek, let me know. Send me an inbox. Okay? Huwag nyo na po padaanin sa ibang tao. Sa akin na lang. Okay? Sige, let's talk about uh, depletion or the service output method. Okay? The total depreciation is directly proportional to the quantity of the output of a property at that time. So again, we are talking about a certain property here wherein the property produces um, a certain service and produces a certain output. Okay, so may it be products or any units of um, goods, no? So the depreciation becomes based on a fixed unit cost. Kasi kaya depletion, kaya service output method, nakadepende sa gano karaming units, sa gano karaming produkto ang nagawa on that certain year. So hindi basta-basta magdi-depreciate over time, pero nakabase sa dun sa kung gano kadaming oras or gano karaming uh, gamit ang nagawa or gano karaming produkto yung nagawa. Okay? So for this part, we will have um, new variables such as letter T. Uh, this gives us the total units of output up to the end of life. So ito yung pinakamarami niyang kayang gawin na unit hanggang sa umabot siya sa end of uh, uh, lifetime niya, yung useful time. And then Q sub N, this will be the total number of units of output during the end year. Okay, so Q, ito lang yung unit na nagawa on a certain year end. Okay, so we can solve the depreciation per unit by, okay, um, getting the original cost, okay, subtracting the salvage value, okay, and then with their difference, get, uh, dividing it with the total number of units. Okay, so to get the depreciation on that specific year, you'll get the depreciation per unit, Okay, and multiply it with the total number of units of output during that. Okay? Sige, let's try to do an example para mas maintindihan po natin. Mix po tayo, kapatid. Okay, so sabi dyan, okay, so you were, uh, uh, you have, um, or sorry, um, ang sabi, <laughs> a television company purchased machinery for 100,000 pesos on July 1, 2009. It is estimated that it will have a useful life of 10 years. Scrap value at uh, 
um, valued at 4,000 4, pesos, production of 4,000... Bakit? Ano po? Teka lang. I-verify natin. 4, 4 million ba? Kaya ka 400,000. 400,000 lang yan. Four hundred thousand units and working hours of one hundred twenty thousand hours. The company uses the machinery for fourteen thousand hours in two thousand and nine, and eighteen thousand hours in twenty ten. The machinery produces thirty six thousand units in two thousand nine and forty four thousand units in two thousand ten. You're asked to compute for the depreciation for two thousand and ten using the straight line method. Okay, and also you're asked to uh, compute for the depreciation in 2011 uh, using the working hours and then the output method on the last one. Okay. So let's try this. Tulat muna natin yung mga variable natin. So ang sabi natin, ang original cost is 100,000 Salvage value natin, sabi natin 4,000 Sabi natin yung useful life is 10 years Binigyan din tayo ng uh, total units For the whole lifespan which is 400,000 Okay, and then binigyan tayo ng total hours or the whole lifespan na 120 hours. So, using the straight line method, we know that the depreciation is the original cost minus the scrap value divided by the total useful life. So, it will be 100,000 minus 4,000 divided by 10. Years. So, what will be the depreciation uh, per year on using the straight line method? Nine thousand six hundred. Correct. Next, you are asked for the depreciation on uh, the working hours. Okay. So, paano are? Using the formula, no, dun sa service output method, it's just that this time, instead of using T and Q, okay, ang kailangan natin is um, yung hours, no, instead of units. So, in working hours, depreciation is equal to CO minus CL divided by yung total na H. Tapos, sinabi kasi, tinanong lang in 2010. So, kukunin natin yung H in 2010. Okay? So, paano are? 100,000 minus 4,000 divided by, ay ba't pesos? Porque 100,000. 1, 000, uh, 120,000 hours multiplied by ilan ng hours daw na ginugo, uh, ginamit noong 2010? Ang sabi doon, balikan lang natin para sure, 18 ba? In 2010 hours. 18 hours in 2010. 18,000. Okay? How many hours did uh, ang Depreciation for uh, 2010 in terms of the working hours. Ay, ano daw? 4,000. So, 14,400. Correct. Correct. 
And then last but not the least, output. Okay, so we have CO minus CL over T times Q 2010. Divided by T as 400,000 units. Multiplied by, ang ginamit nung 2010, ilan? 44,000. So, depreciation in 2010, 10,560, correct? Thank you.